Now that so many people work from home, our household Wi-Fi networks are being flooded with more apps than ever. And some of these demand not just a lot of bandwidth, but consistent bandwidth. When they don't understand it, the voice over IP phone conversation you are having with your boss over the phone sounds like one of you is submerged. The same is true for a lot of consumer-grade apps, particularly video streaming services like Netflix and unquestionably the most recent games. In that case, the majority of people decide they need to improve their Wi-Fi, so they either get a new Wi-Fi router or increase their internet service or both. Well, hold on before you do that because there are other solutions available to you. Most likely, a range extender will do the trick. Range extenders, as their name suggests, Gather up and magnify the Wi-Fi signal from your router before retransmitting it. In this video, we'll talk about the best models, then provide you a step-by-step -step guide to choose a range extender that works for your house. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start! Number 5. Netgear Nighthawk EA Zadie Range extenders from Netgear come in a wide range of desktop and plug-in configurations and at a range of different pricing points. Its newest top-of-the-line model, the Nighthawk S8 EA Zadie, has an awkward name but according to Netgear, it is the first extender to support the Wi-Fi 6 standard. However, cutting-edge features are not cheap, as the EA Zadie costs a whopping $250 or PS280.0. If you are shopping online, simply search for EA Zadie as it is the real model number, and the AZ-Bit is unnecessary technical jargon. The Nighthawk AZ will be overkill for folks who are still utilizing a current generation 802.11 ACK router because, frankly, not many homes currently have a new Wi-Fi 6 router. But if you do have a Wi-Fi 6 router, the Nighthawk AZ's outstanding performance might be the best option for getting to that difficult location with poor Wi-Fi. Even though the Nighthawk is a uh, EA Zadie costs more than many routers, it works hard to justify its price with outstanding features and performance. Even while it's larger than many routers and needs a separate power source, you can move it about to ensure you get the greatest Wi-Fi signal, which is not possible with smaller range extenders that plug directly into a power outlet. It also has extra features like 4 gigabit Ethernet ports for connecting a gaming console or other devices that function best with a wired network connection, like many routers do. It even has a USB 3.0 port where you can attach a hard drive to provide everyone in your family access to network storage. Additionally, Netgear refers to the EA's 80 as a mesh extender rather than just a range extender. So folks who live in gigantic mansions can purchase additional EA Zadie extenders and connect them together to form a huge mesh network that covers several thousand square feet. Number 4. Google Nest Wi-Fi Point Following the huge success of the Google Wi-Fi, the company's latest attempt at mesh networking is the Google Nest Wi-Fi. This newest model's ability to finally seamlessly and meaningfully integrate Google Home into the experience is what we adore about it the most. This is precisely what the earlier models lacked, whether it was Google Home speakers that weren't also routers or Google Wi-Fi routers that weren't also Google Home speakers. These two worlds finally converge, and it feels wonderful. However, do not anticipate the immense power, throughput, and precise, detailed management of mesh systems or routers from brands like Linksys or Netgear. The simplicity of Google Nest Wi-Fi is paramount, with a focus on the functionalities that matter most to the broadest range of customers. The most crucial element for quicker, stronger Wi-Fi connections is easy device traffic prioritization, simple family and parental settings, comparatively fuss-free setup, and a good enough look to position in open spaces. There is no motivation to upgrade to Nest Wi-Fi for individuals who already own a smart speaker. Google Wi-Fi, or a similar mesh network device. Although Google Wi-Fi continues to be our editor's choice, we can definitely recommend Nest Wi-Fi for that. The Google Nest Wi-Fi incorporates Google Assistant and a smart speaker into the product itself, which is what the original Nest should have done all along. Even better, you may accomplish this by just purchasing a Wi-Fi point and connecting it to your current Google Wi-Fi network. Number 3. Asus Enwifi AX6600 as one of the greatest mesh router systems and Wi-Fi 6 routers we've tested, the Asus and Wi-Fi AX is arguably the best router the brand has ever made. 
The Asus N Wi-Fi AX X Tate isn't sold by Asus directly, but it is commonly accessible online. A single Zen Wi-Fi AX can be purchased in the UK for PS219.99 and can provide Wi-Fi 6 for an area up to 2,475 square feet. However, it doesn't appear that this single router option is currently available in other nations. The two-piece mesh system that we are reviewing here costs a pricey PS399.99 slash US $449.99 slash $0899 and covers a larger 4400 SQ. Ford be careful not to confuse it with the less priced Asus N Wi-Fi ACC tape, which is almost identical but still use the outdated 802.11 at Wi-Fi standard despite being available in both black and white. Even by the standards of brand new Wi-Fi 6 routers, the Asus N Wi-Fi AX is pricey, but it makes up for it with an amazing mix of performance and functionality. With a combined speed of 6,600 Mbps, the two routers enable tri-band Wi-Fi 6, 802.11x on the 2.4 GHz and 25.0 GHz bands, 6.6 Gbps. That is far quicker than the majority of recently released 802.11x routers and even a few of new Wi-Fi 6 routers. Each router also includes a USB 3.1 port for sharing a USB storage device on your network, a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port for high-speed internet connections, three other gigabit Ethernet ports for devices that need a wired network connection, and three additional gigabit Ethernet ports. Number 2. TP-Link AX6600 DECO Our favorite mesh router, the DECO W7200, is already available from TP-Link, but the Shenzhen-based company plans to launch a ton of new goods this year. Included in this group is the DECO X90, which has a two-piece, tri-band construction similar to the DECO W7200 but boosts top speeds from AX3600 to AX6600. The price of the two-piece system is $450, which is about twice what the DECO W7200 cost. The perfect mesh router should look decent enough, or at least not obnoxious enough to deter you from hiding it away in a drawer or the back of a closet because mesh routers work best when left out in the open. I'd argue that the Deco X90 succeeds in that regard, even though the hefty, all-white plastic is a little boring, thanks to the angled, ridge design of each gadget, giving the system a bit of style. In terms of specifications, the X90 is a tri-band X6600 system, where AX stands for Wi-Fi 6 support and 6600 denotes the maximum combined speeds of all three bands, which come to about 6600 Mbps. Since you can only connect to one band at once, adding them all up can be misleading. The fastest of the two 5 GHz bands, at 4804 Mbps, is the actual highest wireless speed at least according to TP-Link. Strong tri-band mesh performance and complete Wi-Fi 6 support are provided by the TP-Link Deco X90, which is fairly priced at $450. That is cheaper than premium systems like the Netgear or by X6000 and in the same range as other tri-band Wi-Fi 6 mesh network products that performed well in tests, such as the Asus and Wi-Fi X8 and the Eero Pro 6. The Deco X90 is in the same category as those other systems as ideal upgrade options. Number 1. Netgear Orbi Whole Home An updated version of Netgear's original Orbi system that is more compact and reasonably priced is the Orbi AC 2200 RB K23 Whole Home Wi-Fi system. This is not a follow-up or replacement device, as Netgear is quick to emphasize. Rather, it is a member of the same family but targeted at a different market. While the first Orbi system impressed us with its performance, its high price tag was certain to deter many potential buyers. This wireless router is designed for more modestly sized homes with a few tweaks to the hardware that keep the price down. For those who do not want all of the high-end features of the original Orbi, the Netgear Orbi AC2200 RB K20 3 seeks to provide a more cost-effective solution to obtain the Orbi experience. Netgear is attempting to strike a delicate balance between lowering the price of the Orbi through some cautious cost reduction initiatives and not cutting too much, 
Anyone who is familiar with the original Orbi will immediately recognize the Netgear Orbi AC2200 RBK23's architecture, which features a router and two satellites that are nearly identical in appearance but have different size. The Orbi RBK23 units measure 5.6 x 2.4 x 6.6 inches, as opposed to the Orbi router and satellite's original dimensions of 6.67 x 2.36 x 8.89 inches. This results in a much less intrusive router and satellite system, and the design looks nicer when it is smaller. The larger white units of the original Orbi were a little too big to place around the home without them looking out of place. But these smaller units can be tucked away without drawing too much attention to themselves. The top of the router unit has a light blue finish, but the three units first appear identical to the original. Although the router's Ethernet port is highlighted in yellow and marked Internet, each device contains two Ethernet ports for wired connections. You connect your current modem to this port. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.